YouTube has a problem. Most of our information ecosystem has a problem at this point, but since I call this little corner of the internet my home, and that's science communication, I have a problem too. The problem is an epidemic of mis- and disleading content made to scam your attention, written and read by bots created by probably nefarious individuals for monetary gain alone. You've probably seen what I'm talking about. How many ostensibly educational YouTube channels like these have you come across? There always seems to be at least one in my recommendations or watch next. I don't think I've ever actually clicked on one of these myself, but I assume that people do. The topics being broad, sciencey, and, well, pretty provocative. Now, I never thought much about these channels until one of my facility members pointed out that there's something a little weird going on with all of them. A possibly coordinated effort to skim your precious attention using mostly auto-generated clickbait that is posing as high quality science content. And being the science man that I am, I take that personally. So let's dive a little bit deeper into YouTube's science spam problem. So with very little searching, I quickly found almost two dozen channels representing the problem as I see it. And the first thing you notice is their extreme uniformity. Almost every single one details the same broad, generally interesting science-related topics like the James Webb Space Telescope, aliens, ancient mysteries, mass extinctions, and so on. You know, the kind of stuff you'd see on a history channel, but you'd only watch if you fell asleep with the TV on. The next troubling thing that I notice is that these channels publish constantly, some almost every 12 hours. This is a rate that I know is literally impossible for even the best creators to pull off. No one is this fast. Not PBS Space Time, not Minute Physics, especially not Vsauce Get Wrecked, not Kurzgesagt, no one. This indicates to me that at least some part of these channels' content generation process is automated, cut and paste, or both. Then there are the thumbnails. They are just so cookie cutter that you'd be forgiven in thinking many of these are just the same video across multiple channels, and they might in fact be. The same dramatic images, the same text font, the same arrows and circles pointing at nothing of consequence. This would at best be clickbait on a non-science oriented channel, but on these channels that are representing themselves as educational, these thumbnails are misleading at best and intellectually offensive at worst. Look at this. How many of these images are either AI generated, photoshopped to the point of ridiculousness, or of things that didn't happen or don't exist? I don't know, most of them? This is not what happened to her. This is not Christina Ricci. That nose is photoshopped. That baby is made to look like a baby from Avatar. She's not sleeping with her cobra, that's a python. That's Titanoboa, it did not exist at the same time as humans. No one ever caught that thing. That skeleton is too big. Jet Li doesn't look like that anymore. No one rides spiders. This woman is not <laughs> Snoke. That crab never existed. She didn't exist. This is, <laughs> this is Photoshop, this is Photoshop. That never existed. This never happened to him. This woman doesn't exist. Those conversations didn't happen. This robot is too big. This that, that one kind of happened. This dog is not Bane. That is not what we discovered in Egypt. No one ever wore that mask to court. And worst yet, there is painfully little creativity here. These channels have identified a few topics, words, and images that do numbers and spam them like crazy. Here, let's play a game real quick. I'm going to click through a couple channels and see just how quickly I can find a thumbnail with either Michio Kaku, Elon Musk, or Joe Rogan. Essentially, the bong rips of science content. Okay, let's start with the first channel, and here we go. Oh, there's Elon Musk right in the cover. Uh, oh, Elon Musk right on the front page. Uh, Elon Musk. Uh, the Kaku. Uh, Elon Musk, front page. Uh, the Kaku, front page. Uh, Joe Rogan, front page. Kaku, front page. Joe Rogan, multiple times on the front page. Ooh, oh, the Rogue. Doing pretty good. Nope, Rogan. Ooh, this channel, it doesn't seem like they're spamming any sort of Kaku or Rogan. <laughs> Surely if I go further, it's not like I'm going to find something. You got a musk. We're going to the Kaku. We got the Kaku. We got the musk. 
We, this is all on the first page of all of these things. These people don't do it because they're mostly making stuff up. So this is all getting a little weird, right? And there's no one to actually contact about that weirdness in the channel's about sections. At least I couldn't track down any of the real emails for real people. You go into my about section, you email me, I get that email. Trust me, I read them. And even more telling, in the description for almost every single video on every single one of these channels, it's not, hey, thanks for watching. It's a very long description of why they shouldn't be copyright claimed or explaining what to do if you want to copyright claim them. It's not like these channels think that using blurry Netflix and Discovery Channel footage is okay. They know what they're doing and they're trying to get away with it. We haven't even watched a video yet and it's all suspicious. Videos with tens of thousands or millions of views and millions of subscribers and yet they have relatively few comments at all. They all have names that are some combination of buzzwords. Tech space, future space, future unity, cosmos lab, territory space, voyager space, destiny space, and so on. All of the logos are exactly the same. The same minimalist design, same white on black, the same video topics, the same thumbnails, the same logos and links to each other. Now I can't prove that this is a small cabal of evil attention kidnappers, but I would not be surprised. In fact, I'd bet on it. Okay, so just on the surface level, this looks like a veritable tsunami of science spam on the corner of the internet I call home. But the actual content of the content is somehow even worse. Look, it'd be one thing and more forgivable if it was just some guy who you could identify who's grinding out content and trying to beat the algorithm, but it doesn't seem like that. What it seems to be is copy and paste text read by robots over stolen footage on a massive scale. To show you what I mean, I'm gonna play just a random video that I chose from one of these channels. I'm gonna play it behind me to make it less likely that they claim me, which I'm absolutely positive they're going to try to do after this video. Now tell me that this isn't a robot reading some sort of press release. It has done it again. The James Webb Space Telescope keeps finding galaxies that shouldn't exist. Come on. And listen to this example of a robot clearly trying to be like the most successful science channel with voiceover, Kurzgesagt. There are many, many channels that try to do the Kurz in a nutshell robot VO. The human brain is one of the smartest on the planet, but there are some things we just can't wrap our minds around. And when you listen to it, it's almost nonsensical. That video goes on, by the way and I'm gonna describe what's being shown on screen. The human brain is one of the smartest on the planet. Timeline of Shakespeare to bookstores? But there are some things we just can't wrap our minds around. CGI International Space Station? One of those is the paradox. Timeline from your parents to your grandparents. We've evolved to think that reality is a certain way, but there are paradoxes out there that suggest that reality CGI alien invasion for some reason, doesn't work the way we think it does. This is auditory visual gumbo. It's words and phrases and images that technically go together just enough to be palatable, but it's, it's, you know? If I'm right, why are these channels doing this? The simplest answer to me is a shotgun method of content generation taking advantage of how YouTube works. By more or less automating a process where you can pump out a clickbait video every few hours, you are putting out so much content across so many different channels, some with millions of subscribers, for so cheap with the least effort that these creators are bound to make some amount of money off of autoplay and trickbait alone, even if they receive a copyright strike. You see, money is only placed in escrow on YouTube after a claim is made. So if, for example, National Geographic never makes a claim on their footage, or even just waits a few hours after a video is published to file a claim, the spammers still get money. It might be a small amount of money, but that's why there are so many channels making videos so often. It eventually adds up. The recent explosion in and access to artificial intelligence only adds evidence to my hypothesis. 
Search for text-to-speech programs on YouTube and you will find a similarly thriving ecosystem of channels teaching you how to exploit the system and make money off of almost a fully automated process. No personal creativity needed. The text is written by ChatGPT. The visuals are generated by systems like Midjourney. The voice reading the script is any number of increasingly human-like TTS AIs. And almost all these tools are free, making the barrier to entry, and therefore the barrier to spamming the platform, negligible. Some of these channels outright acknowledge this, and even give themselves challenges to create successful sciency channels that pull facts, titles, and descriptions from ChatGPT in as little time and effort as possible. I would bet my hair that these tools are behind the epidemic of science spam on YouTube. I mean, just look at how cynical some of these are. Make a bunch of money by just using AI and copy and paste top 10 lists. I said this was going to be a huge problem just a few weeks ago, and it's becoming one even faster than I thought. One of the biggest offenders is Riddle, a channel that I've actually seen before and thought was legit, but really is no better. Same topics, same nonsense thumbnails, same spam. wait a minute. History's worst software errors. That is... my vid video? Ugh. I liked what an author at The Outline called channels like these. Quote, The grown-up version of the spooky, surreal children's videos created to manipulate YouTube's algorithm system. And it works. Watch what happens when I type James Webb Space Telescope into the search bar here. Notice anything? The exact same offending channels that we've been going through, indexing higher in the algorithm than even 60 Minutes, BBC, or the actual James Webb Space Telescope. This is a real, growing problem. And no, that's not God. But Kyle, some of you might be saying, what if I like my science videos written and read by robots over stolen footage? Well, first of all, I'd say, fun voice, keep going with it. Second of all, I don't think these channels and the videos they're in are actually the equivalent of just trash TV or tabloids. I think these channels are actively harmful. They miss and disinform the public, and I care about that kind of thing. These are cash grabs, and worse than that, they are cash grabs that siphon your attention away from better things. They are trapdoors of attention to pits of nonsense. Again, I can't prove this is one person or a small group of people that are making all these videos and channels, even though it seems like that. But what I know for sure is that as an educator on YouTube, and YouTube apparently cares about us, I am offended by this stuff, and I don't want to see it. So what can I do? I make a video like this telling you about it, and I report their butts to the YouTube police. If you want to report these channels, like I did, here's what you do. You log into your YouTube account and then click on the About section. You then click on this little flag down here and you report the user for spams and scams. Next, you can select any examples of the offending videos. Same topic, same title, same thumbnail, same lack of any real content. Bad news, bad news. Indeed, bad news, indeed, bad news, indeed, bad news, indeed, bad news, indeed. What just happened? You're getting reported. It has an additional comment box if you want to add anything. These, these videos are ostensibly educational. Submitted. Look, who knows if reporting these channels or making a video like this will make a dent in this vibrant, diseducational community. But the least we can do is dislike, unsubscribe, and make sure to unclick that bell. Until next time. Now exiting the facility.
Thank you so much to the very nerdy staff here at the facility for the direct and substantial support in the creation of this here video. If you want a silky white lab coat to drape over your creamy shoulders, <laughs> if you want to see videos earlier, if you want to join the members only Discord, if you want private live streams with me once a month, you can go patreon.com slash Kyle Hill or click the join button here on YouTube memberships are new here on YouTube or go into the description if you're on mobile. And as you can see, if you support us, it's enough you get your name on Aria in every single video. Lucky you. <laughs> There's so many of you I don't know how to pass all the time. So this actually just happened to me uh, in terms of the scamming and the spamming. I have music. I used to have music for this room at the end of these videos, but it started to be claimed by a company that didn't have the license. So they went and claimed a bunch of videos, including a video that went up while I was in Japan and couldn't get to it. And they made all that money in the eight hours that I couldn't get to claim the video while the video was going ostensibly viral. So it doesn't just hurt my brain. It hurts my wallet. And that's important. Thanks for watching. Report. Report.